I'm Tarek Yalkasev. I'm an emergency radiologist at Massachusetts General Hospital. When radiologists are working through their day and have a giant stack of studies to read, they frequently encounter incidental lesions, things like renal masses, pulmonary nodules, adrenal nodules, adnexal cysts, things where there's a published guideline, frequently from the American College of Radiology or the Fleshner Society of Thoracic Radiology, that tells them what the best practice is in terms of recommending follow-up studies and describing the lesion. The difficulty is that those guidelines are not available to them at the place where they're actually doing their work, usually in their reporting system. So what PowerScribe 360 has done is created a framework for bringing all of those guidelines right to within the radiologist's point of care so that when a radiologist goes to describe one of these incidental findings, instead of having the difficult choice between taking a break and going to find the white paper in the, the journal or on a colleague's wall, or relying on their best memory from the last time they read that paper, they can bring up the clinical guidance tool that actually asks them a couple of brief questions about the lesion and then generates the appropriate recommendation and inserts it right into their report for them. So they are, know that they're making exactly the right recommendation based on the best possible guidelines without having to take a break from what they're doing. So it's good for radiologists because it lets them do exactly the right thing, take the best possible care of their patients in, without having to delay their work. It's good for our patients because we know that we're gonna be making more standard recommendations and maybe even more importantly, we're gonna feel more confident about not making recommendations where they're not indicated because the guideline will, will feel safe that we're using the guideline, we'll feel confident that we're using the guideline, especially in a way that can be documented that we relied on that guideline and not making the recommendation. So this is good for me as a radiologist because I'm able to make exactly the right recommendation for my patient without having to take the time to go look up the relevant study. It's made it very easy for me to do exactly the right thing, to take the best possible care of my patient. It's good for my patient because he or she is gonna get the recommended follow-up study based on the best guidelines that are out there, or maybe not get a follow-up study if I'm able to use the guideline to feel more confident about not recommending follow-up. It's good for my practice because as my colleagues and I use the tool, there'll be less variability and inconsistency between our recommendations and our referring colleagues will get more confidence in our recommendations and maybe even follow them more consistently. And it's good for radiology as a whole because it'll give us an opportunity to be demonstrably adding value to the care of our patients. I'm reading an abdominal CT on my patient and I notice that she has a nodule in her left adrenal gland. So I want to describe that I know that there is an American College of Radiology white paper that outlines exactly what kind of follow-up she should be getting, but I don't quite remember what that is off the top of my head. So I want to use the new clinical guidance tool. And so I you go to the clinical guidance tab, and here I have the tools that are available to me, and one of them is adrenal nodule. And one of the things I can do with that is just bring up the flow chart from that American College of Radiology white paper itself, and I can see that here. And I could use that to draft my own language and recommendations, but the tool actually does better than that. I can take out this description that the adrenal glands are unremarkable and then click on adrenal nodule within the clinical guidance tab and start to describe this adrenal nodule using the fields that the tool su supplies to me. So I can say that it is 1.2 centimeters in size. It's on the left side. And right away, it generates appropriate report text for me. So it says a 1.2 centimeter indeterminate lesion in the left adrenal gland remains indeterminate and then generates appropriate 
impression text and most importantly specifies exactly what the recommendation is. If there's no significant history of malignancy, further evaluation is recommended. If there is, further evaluation with adrenal washout CT is recommended. And inserts a citation saying where the recommendations for adrenal lesion management came from. There are more questions I could answer about the lesion, whether it has macroscopic fat or not, whether its density is less than 10 Hounsfield units, whether it's stable compared to prior, whether the patient has a history of malignancy. And as I change these, it updates the text that would be inserted into the report. So if we said there was macroscopic fat, it would say that it was consistent with a myelolipoma and no additional follow-up is warranted. But let's say that we don't see macroscopic fat in this one. So once we've gotten our description the way we want it, we just click the insert button and it automatically puts the text in the appropriate places in our report. So it puts the description in the adrenals field of our report, right where we had been when we started using the tool. And it puts the impression in the impression field and the citation for the source of our recommendations at the bottom of the, uh, of the report for us. And if I need to make a change to it, for example, I get more information about the lesion or about the patient, I just click on the description of the text and I can go and say, oh, actually this patient has a history of malignancy or, and that we know about. And so I click yes on the history of malignancy and it updates all of the text so that it says that further imaging of the evaluation with adrenal washout CT, MRI, or FDG PET is recommended. And then I click update and it makes the changes to all of the inserted text that it had made and keeps it all consistent with one another. So the tool makes it as easy as possible for me as a radiologist to do exactly the right thing for my patient, make exactly the right recommendation for my patient or not make a recommendation when that's indicated and feel very confident about it.